Kate Schwenke and welcome back to my channel for another fun how-to. Today I am teaming up with Barnett Home Decor and they are sponsoring today's video. Now I made my first purchase from Barnett Home Decor about three months ago and I got two of their super cute ticking stripe pillows. They look just like this. I love them so much. They are very farmhousey, but the color also, you guys know I'm obsessed with aqua. <laughs> so it's like a ticking stripe aqua. It was so perfect. So I bought them for my bar stools and I loved them so much that I actually ended up buying five more for this little eating kitchen area over here. And as a lot of you know, I have a husband and I also have three little boys and they are all four always making messes on these cushions. So I knew when I ordered these that they were machine washable, which I will show you how to wash these today to get the best results. But I definitely needed something that was gonna stand up to four boys, be machine washable, and not flatten out. And these have checked all the boxes for me, so I'm super happy. Now, as I mentioned today, I am going to show you how to wash these cushions. These two particular ones here are the two that I'm going to be washing today. And one of these actually had a dried on spaghetti spot from a few days ago that nobody told me about and I noticed. <laughs> so I used some OxyClean spray and it came right out after a few applications. So that's one thing I love about these is that a lot of times I don't even need to fully wash them. It's just spot treating. And then today I noticed that this one has a stain right here. I don't know if you guys can even see it, but um, it's pinkish so I'm gonna attempt to get that out with some spray today before we do our full wash but this is definitely going in the washer today and um, I'm looking forward to showing you guys how to do that so let's go ahead and head to the laundry room and I will show you how to wash Barnett home decor cushions welcome to my laundry room before we get started I want to tell you guys a little bit more about the Barnett home decor cushions because they are made a little bit differently these cushions are handmade in the USA. They are made with 100% cotton and they are filled with latex foam, unlike other brands. They are super durable, including the ties. The ties are triple stitched and the fabric used for the cushions is upholstery quality fabric. You can't get any better than that. These are super nice. So let's go over the important first steps. Step number one, you need to balance your washing machine. These are filled with latex foam, which means they are heavier than normal cushions. So you're definitely gonna wanna balance your machine and make sure that it's not gonna walk around because these do get a little bit heavy when they're wet. My machine actually balances itself before it gets started, so I won't be doing that in this video. Do not overload your washer. The max amount of cushions you should put in there is four. And today I'm doing two. You wanna make sure you have an even amount of cushions so that your washer stays balanced. And step three, only wash with like colored cushions because you don't want the fabric to bleed onto the other cushions. So let's get started. Your first step in washing your Barnett home decor cushions is to pre-treat any light or heavy stains. As I mentioned before, I like to use my OxyClean Max Force Spray. Spray this directly onto your stain, rub it in, and let it sit for a few minutes. Return with a wet toothbrush and gently scrub. I usually do this two to three times depending on the stain. As you can see, the stain came right out even with just one application. When you want to fully wash your cushions, this should be done about once a year to keep the cushions looking fresh and the latex flexible. These cushions should be washed with a detergent like Woolite, whatever you do, do not use Tide because this will fade your cushions. For in-wash stain removal, an oxygen-based stain remover is recommended. Today, I'm going to be using OxyClean. And this is important, never use chlorine bleach. After you've pre-treated all of your stains, make sure that you tie your ties. This way they don't get stuck on anything in your washer and they will stay intact. Now it's time to wash our cushions. You're going to wash these in cool or cold water. This is very important. Only use the cool, cold, or tap cold water setting. Any cycle that uses hot water can ruin the cushions. You're going to wash these on a gentle cycle. You don't even need a lingerie bag. You can just stick these directly into your washing machine. Now it's time to add our detergent. So I'm adding my wool light here. Then I'm going to be adding my OxyClean Stain Fighter. And let's start our load. Now it's time to remove our cushions from the washing machine. This is super important. Don't ever put your cushions into the dryer. That will completely ruin them. Instead, what you're gonna wanna do is squeeze out any excess water. So I have a towel here and I'm gonna squeeze out as much water as I can get out of my cushion before I let it hang to dry. So I'm kinda hugging it and squeezing it a little bit to get as much out as I can. And you're gonna do this to both cushions. 
Now it's time to hang dry our cushions. So I'm going to hang mine on my drying rack in my laundry room. There's enough space on this rack for two cushions, which is perfect. You don't ever want to dry these in the sunshine because it will bleach them out. If you are drying these on a hook rack, make sure you flip or rotate the cushions midway to promote even drying. Allow 24 or more hours to dry. The final step in this process is to fluff your cushions. So once they are fully dry after 24 hours, you're going to fluff them out a little bit. You can spank them a little bit. You can pull on the cushion a little bit to help fluff it back out. But these cushions really do fluff out nicely and they stay poofy for a long time. Look at that. <laughs> Now your cushions are ready to go right back onto your chair. They tie on so easily. I love it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and found it helpful. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and definitely subscribe to my channel while you're here if you're new. Thanks for watching.